speaking as a trustee, um, the Eastbourne Society's main object is um, <clears throat> interest in and preservation of the town's built heritage. And this is a classic example, really, of a part of the town's built heritage, the oldest part of the town's built heritage, effectively, that has not really been enhanced and uh, made something we can be proud of. And that's no criticism of the owner or all previous owners or whatever. So we're delighted to hear of any project that is going to uh, improve, restore the building, put it to use where people get access to it, um, and, and make it a, a, a major piece of interest to the town. And probably importantly also to a part of the town which you know is not full of great attractions to be honest other than the football club <laughs> in the long term I mean if you, if you sort of restore the place now in sort of 50 100 years it will be another another sort of um, part of the whole history of the building you know and it's sort of when it gets to a thousand years old this will just be another uh, chapter in its history and, uh, and bringing it up to date, but, but keeping the integrity of the building, keeping the integrity of the spirit of the place. I mean, it was a, it was a holy place for many years, you know, not all the time, but for many years. So I really hope people invest in it for, for years to come, for another 100, for another, what, another 900 years maybe, who knows? But, you know, I really hope they do. I really hope they do. It's actually quite unusual for us because Eastbourne being a Victorian town, most of the things that we comment on or suggest directions of travel in terms of development or restoration and so on and so forth involve properties that are you know, built 1850 onwards by and large. Nevertheless, of course, you know, we do have a, a longer history than that and it, it's brilliant and, and for, from our point of view, this is fairly unique for us to be honest. I, think, I can't remember when we've, we've actually sort of uh, taken an interest and wanted to support something uh, that dates back this far. 12th century is it? I think, you know. But then that is absolutely within our remit as well. So we're delighted to support the whole project. Yeah. It's an amazing place. You, you, you can't, you know, you don't know what it's, it's there at all. The poor little old lady that lived there for years saved the place, and they had to build around it. I mean, surely we know we should be champion for her, and and be, you know, and keep it and make it amazing. I've got a, sort of a, a sense of optimism uh, that this project um, has got the necessary uh, grassroots community support as well as the political support uh, to drive it forward. Um, and um, I think uh, EcoHub, uh, with the uh, background and experience uh, that we have as an organisation, um, can provide um, uh, the necessary leadership um, for that to happen.